okay it's just gone half nine i've just lit the fire um ready to get it going in about an hour's time i'm just going to put a little fire in it just to get the heat um up gently without creating too much smoke um so we got the um the newly fitted seals which we're going to test so with these uh, ptfe seals we've got a bit more of a sharp edge as they um as they bend down over towards the pistons um one thing to notice these pistons are still they're quite scored it's funny enough ever since i've fitted the ptfe seals um there seems to be some scoring on the pistons um i don't know if it's the ptfe itself or whether um i've been careless in the garage and uh, grinding dust has got stuck down there and caused this, this grooving but it's, it's just something to know i'm going to leave them like that way for the moment but um as as a as one viewer mentioned um Having those polished would uh, certainly be a very good idea. Okay, so it's half eleven now. I've left it for two hours to warm up slowly. I've actually just been out for a uh, do some exercise. I've just been for a run, so I've, I'm back now. Let's see what the fire looks like. I'm still getting that. I threw a bit of um, a bit of wood and a bit more um, smokeless coal back on. I'll just leave that for a moment. With the heat for the last few hours, it'd be interesting whether the seals have eased up a bit. I'll just spin it over a minute, see what it looks like. Uh, not too bad. A little bit tight though perhaps and i know it's the um the seals i've just fitted that are tight because it coincides for when they're going up and down the tightness whereas the other side on the right hand side isn't too bad at the moment Right, it's almost one o'clock. I'm going to call it a day now. Uh, give the neighbours a break from the noise. I'm just going to try and take some temperatures a minute, um, just out of interest. Various things on the engine so the um the wall of the, the piston is about 70 degrees uh, the cylinder wall is 130 degrees Uh, the regenerator top is showing as 130 degrees. The PTFE seal is showing a as 100 degrees. And the cold piston is showing at 60 degrees. Right, now we can review um, what the PTFE seal has been doing. Um, the first thing you notice is all this uh, residue that's come off it. That's right. I mean, there is scoring in this, but it, it's pretty smooth, really. And, and, in that, and the scoring is that direction. So I wouldn't have thought that would be causing the, uh, the PTFE to all fall the bits. I'll, um, I'll take these bolts out now. Oh, sorry, take the nuts off and um, and take the seal out and see what it looks like. 
the other thing to note is um, there's only wear, wear of the PTFE um, with this seal. This is the 1.5mm PTFE. Um, we haven't seen the same sort of thing with the other side, um, even when this one was fitted in this position. Um, back along, we didn't get any wear. So I don't know whether it's a different grade of PTFE or what. One thing that is nice um, with the PTFE seals with no lubricant is uh, the lack of dirt when working on the engine. So you can see how it's been wearing. Hard to say really whether it's, a, it's okay or not. Um, I mean it wasn't leaking when I, fin it, when I finished. Um, of course it might be, it might just wear in um, and, and it won't be a problem. Depends how thick it is where it's warm really. It's really quite hard to tell whether this is a good or bad thing, really. I mean, it has worn, but then if it was too tight to start with, it's just kind of wearing itself in, really. It might hit a point at some point where it stops producing all this, um, like, uh, really light swarf that comes off the PTFE. And it might just settle down, and, and then that'll be that. If you look careful, you can see the, the seal being lifted up and down. I'm going to turn it. it's being dragged up and down slightly my main concern is that the situation won't get any better as far as the drag's concerned it might be <coughs> that the the corner that we're asking the ptfe to bend round is just too tight so it's not um uh, it's not sealing on on the edge of the seal down there it's actually push, pushing as it turns the corner which isn't what we want because that's not really how a lip seal is meant to work. Um, it's meant the lip is meant to gently touch the bore or, or the um, the outside diameter of the piston um, and, and seal air trying to trying to get past it. But I don't think that's what's happening with this, which is a bit of a problem. We'll just be having a closer look at the the contact area of the seal i've marked it in blue there where it's actually been contacting so you can actually see that the lip of the seal was not being touched in the piston so the <coughs> the, the contact patch is actually just as it's uh, just turned around the radius bit to be bent down so it's not really what we want really because it's a, it's a lip seal that's meant to be sealing on the lip I've just been looking at the, the other set of PTFE seals that have been fitted for a bit longer. I've been turning the engine over and you can hear quite a lot of noise off them really. Um, and there is a fair bit of resistance really. Really. Of course they're, they're running dry like a PTF seal is meant to. Yeah, so now I'm not sure about the other set now as well. You can see the resistance because the flywheel won't it won't really keep itself going with its own momentum hmm interesting well right, i've just taken off the um two millimeter uh, ptf seals off the cold side um just looking here um they're not actually faring too well if you see there um it's actually about to wear through on the uh, end of the lip because once again, the PTFE isn't actually bending that much around the radius. It's hitting the edge of the piston before it bends all the way around. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so um, it's now the next day. Um, I've just been sort of reassessing this whole um, sealing situation last night. And um, I was researching the original uh, rider patented engine um, which is this engine is based off um, in the original one they did use leather seals um, i'm kind of wondering whether to sort of go back and have another look at that 
Um, I mean, these these rider engines, they, some of them are running over 20 years, um, even though they were technically getting oil in the uh, working fluid of the engine. Um, it wasn't it wasn't causing enough problems to stop these engines running. Um, so I might, I might go back and, and explore that perhaps again, just to see whether the lever seal is a viable option.